Welcome back in Tech Devs Studio and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the mobile touch system for a vehicle in Unreal Engine 4.27. So I'm using a source engine of Unreal Engine 4.27. This is uh, pretty much same for every Unreal Engine version because we are going to do blueprint based and we are going to use the common blueprints that available in our Unreal Engine. The first thing you need some icons. So in the icons there are some settings you should do before using as a UI uh, elements okay typically we just import the icons and try to use that so some of cases the icon you will be see that it doesn't load properly and it doesn't uh, show up the transparent stuff so for do that just uh, select that icon right mouse click on split actor and click on apply to the paper and settings now it will be, will be see that it's are uh, working Second thing you need to do is choose all of your texture which you are going to use in your Unreal Engine as a your UI element. Then go to the asset action, then bark edit and properties matrix. Then at here you find here the level of details. At here choose it to mid grain or if I uh, make it some more like this. So on this uh, MIP can generate in settings set it to sharp 9 then at here on the ui groups okay this one on the ui texture groups choose it to ui element so now this texture has been you can still use as a other texture as well but this is uh, mainly you target for the ui assets so you'll be see that it will look very cool and it will be look very sharp without giving you any blur or pixelated stuff okay now let's work on a ui so first we'll create a ui so just give it name a uh, player ui now just double click and open it because i'm using a master class of master class of my vehicle so where will i apply i'm going to apply in my master class so in my case that is on um, this uh, car bp so in my car bp i already have a bunch of code but what i'm going to do uh, after that we even begin play I'm going to simply create a widget so create a widget now instead of the widget I'm going to set up my player UI and then I'm going to set it to add to viewport once we set to add to viewport now there's a couple of way to bypass your value to your UI to get the custom event access once you can use the user interface or blueprint interface second you can use uh, casting and third you can use simple direct variable system so i'm going to use a simple direct variable system so simply just give it name with a ref and then at here on the variable type just type your blueprint name and then here you find the object choose it to object reference and here choose it to instance variable and choose it to exposed on a spawn now compile and save now go back to your vehicle UI, simply refresh it and you will see that it has the refresh, uh, the input series has been spawned at here. Now just give it the self reference. Now it has our masterclass UI reference. Now we can call everything. So now let's go to the designer stuff, drag and drop a button. Now choose it to as a draw and choose it to draw as a image, 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 image. Then disable that and now your duty is to choose b so you find the, all the access of brush now go back to your icons that you are going to use in this one now let's choose first the right so just assign it here select from here and then just assign it so you every time you don't need to search it okay now you'll be see that it doesn't look very quite good because you still need to scale up something so let's choose it to 140 by 140 because it's on a mobile that's why on this thing now it will be depends on you whether you want to make a right side hand controller or left side hand controller okay so um, in my case i'm going to give it uh, at uh, right height right side hand controller pretty similar like pubg default uh, vehicle input system then choose that here the anchor point to right side to our uh, down then or button then choose it to duplicate and then drag one another one at here make sure to give some uh, distance between the fingers so user will be easily to you know catch up that now at here simply just do the same thing just type b and just simply assign 
this is a pretty same system for all Unreal Engine version, even 4.27 to Unreal Engine 5.5, which is the last Unreal Engine version. Now, simply just duplicate it, and then we'll be give it a here one, and one more for this. Now choose both of them. Now choose the anchor point to left side, or you can choose the left bottom. Now just simply give the sign of the break and the throttle. I'm not I'm not sure about this uh, icons because it's looking some weird for me. Uh, because uh, I haven't wrapped the vehicle yet, so I don't do probably this stuff. But yeah, for now let's use like this. And lastly, you can add it for a br uh, break. Okay. So usually the brakes uh, icons should be some more uh, smaller than the actual one. So I'm just choosing 220, and I'm using this one as my break. I'll check that later. The which one is proper, and I'm going to set up that in later age. Now we have this thing. Now we need to do some renaming at here, so we'll be understand uh, easily that okay, this one is forward, this one is backward, you know. So for do that, what I'm going to do, just simply select that. At here you find the better names. Choose it to now. So I'm going to do that R, then L, then this is forward. I'm going to type as FWD. And this is backward, so I'm going to type BWP, and this is for break, so I'm just write BK. So now you find all the icons. Now there's a simple system that uh, choose that, go to the last bottom. Now click here that press and release. Simply click those, then choose for left one as well, like this. Now, what you can do is a very simple thing that you can do a commit at here. Let's choose that for R. Let's choose those for L. Now we can get our reference of the from the vehicle. Drag it here. Drag it here. Now go to compile save and go to the back to your vehicle. Now at here on your vehicle, you have to write some code. What type of code? to just get access of steering wheel and the throttle inputs. So this is some fuel system we already created. So simply I'm going to duplicate it full and then I'm let me get back at here. Okay, now at here you can see this is a value. So now what I'm going to do, simply create a custom event called FWD. And then I'm going to write a one more input for stop. Now. For the stop and the FWD, if it's an FWD mode, so it's going to be work like that. Add, give it an input of 1.0, and if it's not, it's simply going to give it a, a value of throttle inputs of zero. So my vehicle will be not uh, forward. So this is the code for the forward. So FWD. Now compile and save. Now that is pretty same thing we are going to do for backward as well. So in the backward, we just do the minus figure. So custom event called BWD. And then at here, simply, if it's in a BWD, then it will be to this. And at here, the value will be minus one and will be connected with our vehicle movement. And if it's stop, so we already have the input such what we need. So compile and save. Now, lastly, what we need to do is go to the UI and oh sorry because it take the left and right so also let's set up the left and right inputs as well so for the left and right it's pretty same just we need to create another custom event let's give it for the forward move and then let's get them at here okay at here we need a custom event called l or l move then we'll be connect something like this with a value of one and then we need another custom event for custom event called LR or L slash R and then stop. So it's going to be basically stop our vehicle our string wheel or city value as a zero. Let's choose this to zero. And lastly, we need uh, from the L uh, because it's an L. So we'll be give the value as a minus one. Then lastly, we need one more custom event, which is represent R our move so at here we just simply copy that paste at here and now 
what we are going to do is simply give the input as 1. Now we have pretty much a simple inputs. Okay, now simply compile and save it because we have this thing right now. What we are going to do is it's basically very simple. We have all the, our custom event that we need. Now, couple of time it can be a problematic uh, duo for this input because it's always executing. So sometimes it can be give you a conflict. So at that point you just make it just unplug it. Okay. For now we are unplug it, compile and save. Now go to the our player inputs. Now for forward to the same thing, press and release. Then commit as FWD. Get back a reference variable. Do the same process for the your backside as well. And yeah, sometimes if you're seeing that you are going to like that, just locked up it so it won't move anywhere more. Something like that. Okay, cool. But yeah, don't forget if you lock it, you are ab don't able to access from here. So then you need to do from here. Okay, so for the FWD, let me check that it did. Yeah, let's press and lastly the released. Okay, cool. We have those last one. Commit that as a BWD. Now get the reference variable, something like that. Up. I'm sorry. Uh, like this. Okay, cool. Now we need to just call those function. So for do that, we'll be simply type L move and see if it's not coming just go forward and you will be see that this on the top okay lastly for stop that will be type that l slash r hmm. oh i'm so sorry i forget to type it from this error and connect simply like this will be do the same process for r go on top get this connect and because this is the same thing so duplicate connect it here connect like this last one you do the same thing for forward so everybody and we need to call the stop and i'm some confused as a wd show with the l i'm not sure what why it's why words is showing but bwd okay okay because i'm not sure why it does appear uh okay now we'll be do the same thing for here bwd and lastly stop now connect like this connect like this compile save now click on play and lastly we need to do some project configuration which is allow you to touch mouse so here so just type mouse just click it enable now you are able to touch in mouse so we have this thing and you can see we have even a joystick a stuff so for fixing this thing you can do to cross then go to your inputs and here you find a show always input just select that and here you find lots of type choose that different uh default virtual joystick double click and open it click on delay so it doesn't have any data save it and then save it again now click on play it will be gone now you can see that the ui is, is showing up very properly okay yeah we still forget to do some stuff that on the stop stuff so let's check and also let's check uh one more thing at here uh on the once we are setting these icons maybe we forget to choose the brush yep we forget to uh actually add from here I forget to I forget about to assign to your all one because you have to assign in everywhere otherwise it going to be show wrong when you press or release uh, it won't show wrong in the mobile one but in a PC version because we are using now six have a different of inputs it's going to give you error okay so back okay there's a problem you can see even it's a backing then it's still it's going forward even if i'm pressing forward it's still going forward and the la left and right is working properly which i want so now let's see that what's basically the problem in here okay that is the problem that i choose the input throttle to one that actually it should be 0.1 compile save now click on play and now you can see that how it's working properly find that we need 
and now we have a simple driving control system which is going to be work with the mobile or any type of android or even ios okay that's all in this video uh thanks so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye